Front page news. In the Gleaner, Portland businessman in custody in connection with wife's killing. And that was printed at midday, 12 a.m. at August 6th, 2020. That's today. Right, welcome back to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It's your host with the most, boy, that one here. Hmm? You know what? Somebody contacted me early this morning. Now, people, I'm not the one to break news. I don't want to be breaking any news because a lot of the times when we get a story, the story eventually end up being something different from what we reported initially. So when stories break, I don't really jump on the story them. I like to jump on the story after the story has run for a while and then other people come out talking and then more to the story is given. That way we actually have something to talk about. I was contacted this morning real early. I don't really like answer my business phone at that time of the morning simply because people call just to say, yo, so flow, me does a big job still enough. And them kind of something that in the morning when I'm like very, very busy, you know what I mean? I say I'm trying to organize my day, trying to organize the topics, trying to do some filming, trying to do some editing, trying to do some other work online, mixing with the family, all these kind of things. So, but then eh, I heard it. He said, so flow. And that's where I come from, you know, my place that. You know what? I get a news this morning early, and it was early when I answered my phone. It was like 8 something in the morning. Long story short, the same exact thing that this man told me is the same exact thing the star, I mean the gleaner out of Jamaica printed four hours later. Now, if I had run with that and said Beach is out arrested at 8 o'clock in the morning, Star wouldn't have gotten it until midday out in the papers. So people would have said, where's so flow get that from? So you see, I'll be telling y'all, man, that we do have, I know me alone, these other vloggers too, they have links because Jamaican people talk. They're gonna call their favorite vloggers. They're gonna say, yo, they're gonna hit them in the inbox and them kind of something there. I get a lot of that. Anyhow, now that it is actually printed in the papers, I will run the story now and we can talk about it. Now, this is what the paper said. And after I'm going to say what I said and what I have to say now still. So, popular Portland businessman Everton Beachy Stout McDonald is now in police custody in connection with the gruesome death of his wife last month, law enforcement sources have revealed. Two other men who investigators believe were involved in the killing of Tanya McDonald are also in police custody according to the same sources. The businessman's arrest has led police investigators to review the May 2009 killing of his first wife, Merlene, who was shot and killed outside her home in the community of Bound Brook. Everton McDonald was reportedly arrested at his home late yesterday by detectives from the Major Investigation Division. The two other men were also apprehended late yesterday, same time, during separate operations in the Eastern Parish. They have some intelligence going on. Sources reveal that Everton McDonald was transported to Kingston last night and that arrangements are now being made for him to be interviewed by investigators in the presence of his attorney. Hmm. May I talk about that in a minute? Tanya McDonald's partially burnt body was discovered in Sherwood Forest shortly after 9 p.m. on July 20th with her throat slashed. So them cut her throat, them put her in the car, them set the car on fire, and the thing burnt out. Now, according to police report, an alarm was raised after a burning vehicle was spotted in a secluded area in Sherwood Forest. Her body was found inside the vehicle after firefighters had put out the blaze. All right, people. Remember when the story first broke what I said? I said the first person that I am going to look at in this is definitely her husband. And for obvious reasons. The same thing happened to his first wife before. She died under tragic and very suspicious circumstances and everybody pointed the finger to him. Hmm. This seemed like one of them cases where if you know gossip, it close for gossip. Right. So, with that 
now comes the second wife, same thing. Obviously, this is the first person I would pick up if I was doing investigative law enforcement work. Now, here's the thing. What I want to know is this. And any police in Jamaica that has anything to do with this case can call me anonymously. My number is right there on the banner of my channel. You know what I'm saying? Or you can link me soflowtv at gmail.com or you can link me up on WhatsApp. But here's the thing. I want to know. Within the first 24 hours of that young lady's body being found in that burning car with her throat slash, you see? Was her husband taken into custody for questioning? Because that is the first thing that is done. It is the spouse or the person the person lives with under these circumstances. The only way they don't really take people in to at least question them it has to be that something is wrong with the person and the person is not able to stand questioning. In other words, the person is handicapped in some way. So it's kind of funny to me that now them go arrest him. Now you and I know how Jamaica work. Just like how they did Tommy Lee the other day, they put it out in the newspaper, you know. Think about what I'm saying to you. They put it out in the newspaper. Here is an entertainer that is popular as hell. He is huge outside of Jamaica and huge in Jamaica. Nobody in Jamaica is going to miss Tommy Lee if he's around. So there was no need for them to put all that information out in the newspaper like tell him to turn himself into this location by this time within 24 hours or else. And even Tommy Lee is saying that they've come in contact with him many times, they know where his address is, they know where his children lays their head and all that, so they could have just gotten straight to him or even gotten to his attorney. It didn't have to make it to the front page of the papers in Jamaica, right? Or worldwide then, because now we're dealing with the internet. It's the same thing for a man like Beachy Stout, where is a, we would call a heavy hitter. Heavy hitter means, say, I don't know, normal man, the man money tall. The man big in at the place. The man well established. Everybody knows who he is. And not for no quay quay pay pay thing. The man is known for business. You understand? It's known that is a man will have him finances in order as far as what it looks like on the surface anyways. Now, a man like this with so much pull and so much influence. You know the internet has been buzzing and they've been saying that so flow. Nothing is going to come out of it because check it out. A Jamaica way I talk about. People even talked about the piece of land where the Portland Police Station Depot and over there so gave me a location and said even the land they belong to Beachy Stout. So if you know said the police them in a in pocket, there's a man where can't get bring down, trust me. People even talked about stuff like he's a member of the Brotherhood of Free Freemasonry and all these other things that man there is untouchable and these kind of things. Have enough police links so him now go down. Hmm. This is going to start to show if the answer to my question is no, he wasn't. Was he picked up within the first 24 to 48 hours of his wife being found in that situation and questioned? Was he or wasn't he? For the fact that they did not actually contact him and say, hey, you need to turn yourself in. We need to do some questioning or come down to the point. Usually, for people like him, this is how Jamaica run. Yes, some people have special privileges, and that's just how it is in every society across the board. You cannot be expected to be treated like Jamie Foxx or Will Smith when you go anywhere in the U.S. You're going to be treated differently. They're going to be treated with star strength. You understand? So, it's weird to me that the police didn't just contact him directly or get to him through other means. They arrested him and then after the arrest, he is now sitting and waiting with two other men that are thought to be involved. And he has to now sit and wait for them to coordinate for him to be questioned. Usually in his case, the questioning is already set up and then they oblige. And then usually say something like, bring in your attorney and show up. Down at the station Monday morning. Detective saw saw the hang of the question and blah blah blah. So now 
you, you see, it, there's no, it, no special privileges is shown in the way they went to go get him. Because they would have gotten him another way if he was so in a them pocket or them in a his pocket then. You know what I'm saying? Or is this all a facade? Are they going to all be let go? We will hear sooner or later. But I said it from day one. I said that my primary suspect would be the husband, which would be Beachy Stout. Now, some people misunderstood that. Me never said the man guilty. There's no way to tell if he is guilty. They must do their proper research and investigative work on the ground in Jamaica to find out if he's guilty. I'm just saying he would have been my very first suspect. To at least question him, get a timeline of certain things that might have, you know, a regular husband and wife day. When last you saw your wife? Well, she left the house this morning, 8 o'clock. Or, boy, I mean, did I sleep when she leave the house, you know, but we, we spend the night in the bed together. And she said she'd have to go somewhere, man, and wake up, she did gone already. So I can't really tell you which time. You know what I'm saying? To establish a base that they can work from. Then they can say her husband said she left the house at 8. So the last time he saw her was about this time. And then from then on, we have to go figure out what happened, where was she going? Where did she tell you she was going? And follow their leads, etc., etc. That was the first thing they should have done, was taken him in. And question him, question him, question him, ask all the right questions. And then if it seems as if he's nothing or has nothing to do with it, whether he set it up and paid somebody to do it or he did it himself. Can I imagine though, them find a the girl with her neck, her throat cut. So imagine, just imagine, a man go say, oh, you find a she up there? Like stories that were given out before that said, is enough time in pay a man and fi follow her go which part she a go that's how she used to get catch you understand so is it one of them cases here where in pay a man or tell man fi follow her and them follow her and then they, they call them and say yo boss you know say your wife up here with a man in her car me a talk about a real sex movie a go on dog and him a say what a that a go hold her which part she there I want to know who was in the car with her or is there any other males involved or did she get killed in this area for something she did don't forget the voice note the voice note said that couple of things in the voice note that I'm, I've been telling people to pay attention to and the police them can't even bring in beaches out alone and arrest him right now without even giving batting an eye at the other person, Dalakine, whose name was called up in the video. So whoever Dalakine is in the voice note, them figure find him because him a side man, he is known to be side man for her, with her. It's known to them did up, even though she have her husband, which is Beachy Stout, and he took her phone and found other men in there. So this girl had side man pan, side man pan, side man. And husband, you understand? And the side man never feel good about that, so he beat her up. And I asked the question in the videos we did previously, what side man beat up the woman he might take a piece from? And you are no mean man. So you're going to beat up the side woman and send her home to her husband and she wonder how, he's wondering how his wife get beat up. You're, you stand a risk of getting found out, right? So side man normally tiptoe in, take them little piece, you know what I mean? I make sure them do it good. So them can get called again, put on the schedule again, and cut. That's what side man do. Side man beat up woman and you know, in public and these kind of things. So I found that like this is someone. That's another question that an investigator would ask. So she was found in this gruesome way. Um, do you know of anybody who would want to hurt her? See, normal questioning. Do you know if anybody who would want to hurt her? Has she been involved with anybody lately? Any brawls? Any feuds? Did anybody hurt her recently? Or did you hear her talk of anybody that she might have had some kind of beef with? These are normal questions. Because now it could establish a motive 
as to why this person would want to lay hands on her violently. You understand? And then them could have go find a person then or and figure out what go on this up. Because that might very well be the person that did it and not her husband. Even though the whole world and the whole of Portland is saying, I him do it. But check it so flow. Nothing now come out of it because their money are well connected. Are they bringing him in just because we are talking about this on social media? Kind of me want to talk about it, you know. Are they bringing him in because everybody is paying attention? Or are they bringing him in because proper police works, investigative work is being done, and proper intelligence is being put in place, and it has led them to him? Again, let me end this video by saying this. Within the first 24 to 48 hours of her being found, how she was found, was her husband picked up and questioned? Yes or no? And if the answer is no, then it clearly shows how law enforcement is playing the game in this one. Anyway, leave your comments in the comment section below. Make we talk about it. You think him guilty? Or you think they should look other places as well? I'm out. Peace.